Hello Techies. In the previous tutorial, we have learned how to create computer vision API by using Microsoft Azure Cognitive Services. Now, in this tutorial, we will learn how to work with Analyze Image Action, which is available under Microsoft Computer Vision Actions. Let me drag and drop this Analyze Image Action onto the workspace. What is the purpose of this Analyze Image Action? By using this action, we can analyze the image using Computer Vision API with advanced algorithms which returns the information such as objects, faces, adult content, and auto-generated test descriptions based on the visual features. All right, first we'll see the input parameters of the action. First one, server location. We are having a number of server locations to be used for the API call, such as you can see over here, West US, West US 2, East US 2, East US, West Central US, South Central US. These are all the server locations where Azure has been located. Now you may ask which server location we need to select over here. Now let's go back to the computer vision API. There you can see I'm having location or region. You need to select based on the computer vision API that you have created. Now, if you see over here, I have selected the region East US so that in the server location, I will select it East US. That is my first parameter. Now, if you see the second parameter, subscription key. This is the key which we have generated in the computer vision. There you can see inside keys and endpoint, there you have key one and key two, which we are going to copy the key over here. And then the same key, you are going to paste it over here. All right. Now, the third parameter we are having, provide image. There are two types we are having. One is from file, another one from GCS. From file is nothing but from local computer, whereas from GCS is nothing but from Google Cloud Storage. All right. Now I'm going to select from file. And the image file, we will select the local path of an image. I will show you that. Now, the fourth parameter is visual features. This is the text value which indicates visual features types to return. In a such a way that we are having visual features like categories, tags, description, face, image types, color, adult, objects, and brands. If you are going to mention, if you want all kind of visual features in such a way, if you want to define multiple values, in that case that you have to give comma separated value. For and suppose I'm having categories as well as adult. In that case, if you see over here, I'm going to give it comma separated over here for each and every value. I have given categories comma adult comma tags. Now, let me explain one by one visual features which we are having. First one, categories. By using this categories visual feature, we can categorize image content according to the taxonomy defined in the document. Second one, tags. Tag, we can tag the image with a detailed list of words related to the image content. Third one, description. It will describe the image content with the complete English sentence. Whereas faces detects if faces are present inside the image. If a face presents, then it will generate the coordinate, gender, and age. Next one, image type. By using image type visual feature, it will detect if the image is clip art or line drawing. Next one color, which determines the accent color or dominant color and whether an image is black and white or not. Next one, adult. It will detect the visual category of an image is pornographic in nature or it is having sexually suggestive content. In that case, it will define the values over there. And next one, objects. 
it will detect various objects within an image including approximate location the object argument is only available in english next one brands the brands will be detect various brands within the image including approximate location the brands argument is only available in english now if you observe there are different and various visual features that we have such as categories tags description faces image type color adult objects and brands now the details detail parameter includes the text value indicating which domain specific details to return such as if you are having domains in such a way celebrities as well as landmarks in that case it will be identify the celebrities if the particular image has been detected with an image landmarks identify notable landmark inside the image all right now the language parameter it will be defined in which language that you want to return the output all right here you can give english you can give different languages you can mention it over here to get the output now we are having advanced there is a timeout parameter that what we have the time in seconds that the agent should wait for the connection to establish with the server that is nothing but power automate desktop with azure server all right these are all the input parameters what we have now if you see variables produce i am having two flow variables one is json response and the one is the status code json response this is the output which we are going to get it from the api it's a standard text based output that we are going to get it in the json response and the status code the status code which we are going to get it as a return 200 for the successful request and response whereas 400 is bad request and response all right now what i'm going to do i'm going to give an image over here let me show you that image if you see on my screen i'm having an image of bill gates by using this image we can get the details we can analyze the image in a such a way the categories adults tags and what not right and we will get the response in a such a way as an output in the json response first i am going to select that image over here image file from my desktop i am having that image with bill.jpg now i am not giving any kind of visual features in that case what it will do it will get only the categories all right now i am not going to define the details also now i just given the server location subscription key provide image image file and visual features and details are kept it blank including the language also all right now let's click on save now let's run the flow to see the output what kind of output we will get it whenever we are going to analyze an image flow execution started and the flow has been executed successfully now if you open json response now you can see the visual features over here with the categories only and you can see the request id and the metadata height width and the format has been given over there and there you can see the categories i'm having name over here and the score let's open that now you can see i'm having name as people portrait and the score is 0.99 and you can see over here in the more details i'm having the same details right now what i'm going to do i'm going to make a small change over here in the action i'm going to define the visual features over here in a such a way categories comma adult comma tags whenever you want multiple values in that case what you are going to do you are going to separate them with the comma separated right now let's go ahead let's click on save and once again let's run the flow to see the output flow has executed successfully now let's open the json response once again if you see in the categories there previously we had only one that is visual feature as categories now you can you have adult you have tags also there you can find in the adult the more information that you can get it there you can see is adult content false is racy content false because of it's a plain image of the bill gates right and then you can see the tags over here what are the tags that we have if you click on more i'm having a man a person with necktie wearing a suit and human face and having smiling on that 
and then you can see the jacket you have dress it what is the posing and what not these are all the tax details that what you got it in a such a way if you want you can get all the information visual related to the visual features all right now in the particular image we are having the celebrity image right so that what we need to do we need to get the details in a such way about the celebrities right in that case what we'll do we'll give the values in the details as celebrities comma landmark if you are going to use both the values in that case you are going to use comma separated value if you are going to use single value then in that case you don't want to define anything all right now let's click on save now once again let's run the flow to see the output and the flow has been executed successfully now click on the json response once again now in the categories if you observe now for the visual features that i'm having categories adult and tags but inside the categories you can see the details over here in such a way the celebrities let's click on more now if you see inside the celebrities that i am having name is bill gates and the conference is 0.99 once again to see more about the details you can click on more there you can see the name is bill gates and the face rectangle i am having 306 on the left is 306 top 378 width 720 and height 720 these are all the details which we can analyze by using analyze image action i hope you understand how to get the information from the particular image by using analyze image action as part of this tutorial thank you for watching power automate tutorials if you have any queries related to this concept please post them in the comment section i will see you in the next session till then bye bye have a wonderful day